We're live. Cool. Hey, what's going on? I'm inside the uh, cage, the monitor cage here at Camp Kennan. Um, we're going to have Tom open that door. Tom's actually down. We've been filming new episodes of Camp Kennan here this week, so I'm pretty excited about that. I thought it's always more fun when we do these videos actually coming from where the animals are. And so Slinky's hanging out. Jackie is actually behind me inside this. You're going to come and give me a hug? Jackie's actually in this... Uh, tub behind me and she's been digging like she wants to lay some eggs so i'm pretty excited about that and i'm getting some kisses from slinky right now i think he kind of smells in the air uh that i do have some rats in just a little bit i'm going to feed him a couple of rats so you can kind of see these guys eat uh they're of course pre-killed rats um but hey what's going on everybody we have folks jumping on right now a lot of people got 100 people on right now fantastic i want to give you guys a, a heads up i'm very excited to announce right now live that if you live overseas, you can now order a Camp Kennan t-shirt. We figured it all out. Tom and I got it done this morning, went to the post office, figured out the rates. And uh, so there you have it, folks. Uh, go to CampKennan.com, uh, go to our store, and you'll be able to order your own Camp Kennan shirt like the one I'm wearing. And it helps us continue to make videos and travel and bring you some more exciting reptile-related content. Uh, so Slinky's doing good, everybody. He's, um, as you can see, he's getting bigger. Um, I don't want him to leave, and so I'll just pick him up, oh, and I'll put him over here. There you go, buddy. Um, I'm going to be dirty. That's all right. I'm People gonna are go saying to talk a little louder. They can't hear. Oh, you guys can't hear me? How's this? Better? Oh, there goes Slinky. You guys can't hear, huh? Well, hopefully you can hear now. Let me know. Let me know if you guys can hear me at this particular moment. Maybe it's yours and not mine. Much better. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. I was messing with you. I could also do this which would mess with you I learned this one from my friend George Gallo. You ready? This is a trick. I learned from him funny comedian. Here we go mm -hmm. So if you can tell me what I said then I'll go ahead and give you slinky for free <laughs> Um, just kidding, everybody. Now, I wonder uh, if people heard the announcement. I'm not sure if they I don't did. know if they heard the announcement. Say real quick then, maybe. They oh, the announcement. Have. Yes. We are, uh, we are now able to ship overseas Camp Kennan t-shirts. Anywhere in the world. So we're Anywhere go. in the world. So I know a lot of people in Indonesia and in India and yep, in Australia. Exactly. Been bumming, exactly. but now they shouldn't be bumming. My it's friends in Europe, here comes Slinky. And Tom, let's give a hand for Tom. He's being so brave right now while Slinky's monitoring around. This is a big deal right here. This is a big deal. Tom's actually uh, allowing Slinky to get within like two feet of him. So that's that's a big deal. I'll tell you what, Tom, why don't you back up for a second? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Slinky, um, watch your head. I'm going to get Slinky a little amped up here. We're going to go ahead and grab a jumbo rat. All right. Now watch, this is what happens. Here we go. Can you guys see this? Wow. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Holy smokes. Now get an eye on him. Watch how fast he swallows that. Not a problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I hope some of our sensitive viewers don't mind that. But, you know, lizards got to eat also. That is um, he's going to get out on land, and he's going to go ahead and swallow that right down. So it was funny. I held on to it. He did a great jump. Uh, pretty exciting stuff here. Um, watch. Now he's just going to swallow it down. Let's see. And that's a jumbo. Oh my God, he's getting me all wet. Good grief. Isn't that incredible? And uh, right down the hatch. Now, the thing is with Slinky, he's, he's going to be extremely greedy. Watch. He's going to start begging again. Once he swallows that, he's going to come right back to me looking for more. Um, and I don't want to disappoint him. But uh, while he's swallowing, does anybody have any interesting questions? Uh, maybe about Slinky or anything that I'm up to these days? Watch your head, Tom. Thank Tom you. just cracked his head on there. It's a bummer. Um, so yeah, Slinky's just going to swallow that, but, uh, we're having fun out here today. It's been really hot. We've been shooting some new videos, hanging out with Crocodile Kyle. We've got a lot that we're going to be doing in the future together. So I'm pretty excited. Um, you know, just, just so much going on this weekend is the Daytona Reptile Expo. I'm going to go there. Maybe I'll shoot a little live video from the Daytona Reptile Expo, uh, on Saturday or maybe a bonus even, but anyhow, we're just uh, having People a good time. I want to know if there's been uh, any action between Slinky and Jackie. Plenty of action, actually. Uh, can you get a shot of this little box, that tub right there? Yes. Guys, there's a hole in the front. It's a little bit of an impromptu um, 
It's an impromptu nesting box, and she is in there right now. Um, I, I don't know if she's laying or what, but she's in there. She has gotten fatter, so I'm wondering if she's gravid. We'll, we'll see. So, I mean, that would be amazing if we got eggs from Slinky and Jackie. Um, I know that a lot of people would be stoked to see these guys reproduce. I'm excited about it. Uh, Slinky and I, look at this. It's so amazing to be able to hang out with him in this way. And as he's grown, he's gotten more confident and comfortable with me. And we've built up our trust, so that's really cool. Um, I love coming in here with him, man. I have a question. Can I yeah. take this case off? Because that might be why people can't hear you. Oh, that's it. possible. Yeah, but that's also giving us the extra battery. Oh, all right. Um, well, just be loud. Yeah. Um, how big do, – do you know how big Slinky is? People Slinky are wondering is how big – He looks about, bigger than me now. Yeah, he's bigger than when we first got him. Slinky is about four and a half foot by my estimation. Uh, so he's getting pretty big. Should we give him another uh, – I don't have any more jumbo rats frozen uh, thought out. But I have some large rats that I can give them. Maybe we'll go ahead and get them all set up. Let me grab another rat. I'll grab both of them, and we'll feed these two off. Watch your head, Tom. Your shoelace is also not tied, Tom. Okay. That's dangerous. Well, um, I can't shoot and tie my shoes. So. I know. I'm just saying. All right, so watch this. All right, see, he's already seen it. He's already seen it, and it's, it's right in. Um, and he's actually, he actually is pretty gentle with me. I'm going to do an experiment right now. I'm going to just hand this to him. And let's see him be gentle. Please be gentle. Look at that. See that, guys? How cool is that? Um, you know, you really should be using tongs, uh, but, you know, I wanted to risk it. And it's neat. You can also see uh, some of those teeth that they have in there. Make no mistake about it. Monitor lizards have some pretty impressive teeth. <coughs> and he had a little burp. I don't know if you guys heard that. Did you hear Slinky's burp? Oh, man, that was cool. Awesome job, buddy. Uh, so three rodents today. I do that once a week, and then I give him fish, and I give him the croc diet um, as, as a part of his diet. And look at him. He's just so fantastic, very healthy, active. Um, and Jackie's the same way, so I'm pretty excited about that. I see that. the Fly River over there, Yeah, too. the Fly River is hanging out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the Fly River is always looking for something. Uh, Maybe one person was asking, uh, well, what, two quick questions. Well, first, how old is Slinky? Okay. Uh, Slinky is, oh gosh, I got Slinky two years ago now. Before that, Joey Casey had him. Uh, I want to say Slinky's about five years old. Okay, he's a five-year-old lizard. Uh, they can live about 15, 20 years in good conditions. Um, when the eggs ha lay, get laid by Jackie, hopefully, okay. what will you do? Will you leave them in there? No, in I'm the going to get those eggs out ASAP because even though um, Slinky is the dad, he wouldn't. Hey. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to flip this back around. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, how you doing? How you doing? Are we back? Are you guys back? Sorry about all that. Uh, here's what happened. The case overheated the phone. So my silly uh, iPhone got overheated. So I brought, came inside to cool it down. Let's, uh, let's go back. We'll get back to Jackie. There's, well, you flip the camera again, Tom. I'm going to flip it. Flip it for real. All we right, back? we're back. We're All right, back. hey, what's up? Sorry, guys. I mean, it's so hot in Florida, and then this case, I guess, was messing with everything. Um, we should still be on the extender Wi-Fi. We're going to go back over and finish this out with Slinky, um, take some more questions and whatnot. Uh, sorry about that. Look, this these... is much better, everyone said right now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, probably because you can hear me better because the case isn't uh, blocking my voice. So, sorry, guys. I appreciate you guys bearing with me. Um, you know, technical difficulties. It's a whole new world, and we're figuring it all out. Um, all right, Sleeks, I'm back, dude. So, um, where were we, man? What kind of questions do we got, bud? We were talking about what would you do with the eggs. Okay, so the eggs, exactly. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a very watchful eye on her. And once she, you know, if she... I, I peeked in there. I don't want to disturb her right now. I peeked in at her. And once she covers an area up, I'll know that she laid eggs. You know, once she backfills it, then I know something's happened. I'll get the eggs out. I'll put them in the incubator. And it would be my first time incubating. I've, I've never incubated monitor eggs. Uh, this is all brand new to me. And I mentioned it a few weeks back. You know, the way you learn about an animal wholly about its entire life cycle is by, you know, reproducing them. So, uh, you know, Obviously, down here in Florida, very easy for me to do. Uh, not like some of the guys that are up north where you have to do things. You have to set the lights up on photo, you know, on timers to create photo periods and day-night 
attempts and so on. Um, I just let nature take its course here. The only thing I do as far as supplemental heat will be during the uh, will be during <laughs> the uh, winter when we need to add some heat to the enclosure. Come here, man. Come here. This is so cool. But you can see this kind of interaction, you know, and, and there's an intelligent animal here that I do not want to get out. Ooh, sorry, Slinky. I kind of kind of actually fell down. Um, but my goodness, oh, and he could be, he can really be something if he wanted to be. Like, he could give me a hard time, uh, but he doesn't necessarily. He's really calmed down. He's got nice full belly right now. And these are uh, very closely related to Komodo dragons. And, uh, oh, there goes the hat, everyone. He's on the hat. <laughs> They're very curious. What do you got, buddy? You want to go out there, don't you? You want to see what's out there. I'm afraid if I let you out there, though, you just reset, don't you? He would pretty much just decide, you know what, I'm going to keep going and maybe chase my cats, to be honest. But, um, you know, they're, they're like Komodo dragons in the way that if, if we wanted them to, he's kind of, look at this, I think he likes this. Um, they would gorge themselves. Uh, their stomachs can really expand. And they do that in the wild because they don't know when they're going to get another meal. Uh, but here in captivity, you can really make these animals get obese. And this is usually, if you guys remember, he used to slap me all the time with that tail. For those of you who have been watching a long time with Slinky. You ever caught that in the face? You've been in some serious trouble. I have caught it in the face. I've had welt on my back. I think I posted a photo to Instagram. Oh, yeah. um, if you guys like what you're seeing here, there's so much more that I do on Instagram as well. You can become a Patreon supporter, um, which is a lot of fun, man. And, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're doing well. Um, pretty excited. Here's the... Uh, I think the fly river's floating around. How about some questions, man? We haven't really talked to our friends out there. I would love to answer some questions. So let's do some more questions okay. and keep going. Someone said Jackie is hot. <laughs> she is. She is hot. She's dainty. She's a little petite uh, thing. She's got a really nice tail. Um, someone said what kind of turtle is that? That is a... Fly river turtle floating around in the back. Uh, will the babies it. be for sale? They will be for sale. I'll probably... Uh, they're going to be... Uh, um, a combination of they're, they're a partnership between myself and my good buddy Anthony Furlong because uh, Jackie is his lizard um, and basically yeah they will be for sale uh, I'll probably hold a few back for a while I'd love to tame them up and I'd love to get the you know try and see if I can tell which is a male and which is a female uh, because I'd love to have the second generation slinkies raising up you know I mean he's such a beautiful animal uh, she's such a nice gal and I'd love to have their offspring in my life for, for many years to come. So I'll probably hold some back. Um, but there will be some offered up for sale. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, you guys are, I, I only want to sell them to people that know what they're getting into. You got to have space. You got to have the discipline. You got to be able to work with these animals every day. You guys know I'm always in here. I always post videos from in here. It's just because this animal, um, you know, Slinky is so intelligent to me and so curious he just makes for an interesting animal to sit with while we're doing these videos because he's always moving about and I can tell you this I'm going to be creating a larger habitat for slinky um, that's a question that uh, Mike has been asking are you looking to upgrade the yeah man the always bigger? like in fact I'm gonna move these I am gonna move the rhino iguanas into a completely different habitat and then I'm going to rip down the wood cage that is the, the wood cage that the rhino iguanas are in. And I'm going to go ahead and add to the existing cage here with more aluminum and more vinyl coated wire and make this whole thing wider. I just like to see slinking moving around. I think it's healthy for them. They cover a lot of territory. I've got the space. It's just the elbow grease is going to be me putting this together, you know. Um, it just makes for a more interesting uh, animal. You know, you don't want to keep them locked up. And I can even make a bigger pond. Too. David Wexler is asking, um, is there a good monitor for keeping indoors? Yeah, there, there are different monitor species. I, uh, years ago, I had a mangrove monitor. Um, in Indicus, I believe, is the Latin on it, Varanus Indicus. It does not get very large. Um, I love that lizard. I had it, um, I had it set up in a room-size enclosure. Uh, it had a pond, it climbed, it was just like Slinky, but, you know, just in a smaller package. So I really love mangrove monitors. There are others. There's even the um, the little, um, oh gosh, their names are the, the, the uh, spiny-tailed monitors from Australia. Full grown, it's that big. All the attitude of a monitor in an extremely small 
uh, dwarfed animal, and they're great for indoors for sure. Some of the tree monitors can get a little bit uh, labor intensive with replicating their habitats, and they're a little bit more shy. Green trees, the, the blue trees, and the, the black tree monitors. Um, so I would wait until you've mastered monitors before you start working on any of the arboreal species uh, because they're a little bit more, uh, their requirements, habitat requirements are a little bit more specific. Um, Slinky is about four and a half feet long. I People are so, asking yeah. about that still. Um, one person's asking, so Slinky's four and a half foot. Uh, why don't you have any Australian reptiles? Is that true? Uh, I have the Fly River Turtle. I have, um, you know, I, which would be one of the animals you can find in, in northern Australia. Um, I just, gosh, why don't I? Well, number one, um, many Australian animals, with the exception of bearded dragons, are, you know, Australia doesn't export any of those animals. Um, I'd love to have lace monitors. Um, but they're not widely bred here in the United States, kind of difficult to get them. And in order to have them, you have to legally get them as captive bred animals. Um, I do have Australian snakes. I have a carpet python, coastal carpet python, which is an Australian snake. Um, and I, there's, I'm sure there's a few other turtles. Someone was asking, does Slinky get along with all turtles or just the fly river? Uh, Slinky basically... If he would eat a turtle if it was small enough for him to uh, swallow. So the Fly River is large enough to where it, it you know, it can't be, get eaten from him. But if he came across, there's a little rhino iguana, and then there's the female beyond that, if you see. She's still kind of uh, hanging out where her eggs were. Uh, but to go back to that question about Slinky and eating turtles, if there was some carrion, if there was a dead turtle, he would probably... Uh, be able to eat it and get some of the fleshy parts out of it by biting off a leg and sticking his head into the shell and eating out the uh, innards and so on. But I, you know, it's just too much work for him to try and kill the Fly River. He'd never do it. Um, and he's well fed, so he doesn't need to. Um, but, but again, if, if there's a size now, if it's about that big and he can crack it, uh, he would. He would swallow it whole too. Um. Someone said add a live cam to the new Slinky Cave. Yeah, which yeah, we, we absolutely will do. Yeah, we, we are going to be doing that. Uh, have a live cam. You guys can drop in and visit Slinky whenever you guys want. Um, you know, then you can also email me and, and let me know if there's any breeding or egg laying going on. I could have you guys be helping out the camp and let me know what's going on if I'm out doing errands. So that's cool too. Someone was asking, what is the next animal you'd like to get here, at Camp Ken? You know, here's what I'll say, guys. Here's the long term goal. It's not necessarily about getting new animals here, but I want to build a place um, where you guys can come visit. I want to create a, a, a public place because so many of you want to come to my home and I just can't facilitate everybody. Um, so there's, there are some long-term plans uh, to where we build some enclosures on a property that I'm able to show you folks uh, the animals and we'd have, you know, uh, a little fee system in place so you could come visit uh, and help keep that place going. Uh, we do private tours and so on. But that's, that's like in a few years. Um, but that, is, that has been talked about and that, is, that could potentially be more of a reality with some of the meetings that we've had in the last week. Um, so I'm excited about that. So what I would say then is some of the other animals that I'd like to create uh, habitats for would be like blackhead pythons would, you know, would love to get a Komodo dragon or two. Um, would love to, to, you know, build bigger enclosure for Slinky and maybe have you guys come see him live in person, I think would always be cool. Um, so that's kind of what we're trying to do. And that's all, you know, you guys are making that possible. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys are, you know, <laughs> shucks, man, in the last couple of weeks, you know, we did Croc Fest last, uh, what, two months ago. And we had some Camp Kennan fans show up and here's slinky guy he looks like he's gonna go up to bed but uh we had some camp kennan friends um you know fly out for croc fest and just last week i met a nice guy william uh came down to bush wildlife just because he saw it on the camp kennan show and i'm really excited about that and it just makes us think you know maybe um if you guys are that into reptiles and like how i build things and like the habitats we create um, maybe we'll do it and have you guys come on down and check it out live Cool. Uh, two things. One quick one. 
when will you be back to checking on the tigers? Someone asked. Uh, <laughs> we should do that. We should go back and check those guys out and update. Yeah, what's going on. yeah. Maybe yeah, not. A little sketchy. A little sketchy. Uh, but yeah. The other thing is, a couple people complaining are pointing out that the water is green. Yeah. It looks yeah. dirty. Like you should clean it. Oh really? What, what do you like? Let's let's get the. Yeah. First want... off, it is you know. Yeah. That water, guys. Just so you know, we are in South Florida, right? That water is green, and it's still clean. That's algae in the water. Um, you got to remember, guys, you know, people are funny animals. Um, you know, you think, <laughs> you know, out here there's no filter. What happens is I have a well pump, okay? I, I actually have water coming up from the ground that we pump up. And what I do is I have it on timers. And every night at 12 uh, midnight, the water runs for an hour and a half, and it cycles through. And then once a week I drain it. Now, here's the thing. I, I can drain that. And in one day, it's going to look like that again. You know, you're in full sun, algae, you know, you can't bleach. I don't want to get through to bleaching anything. I don't want to kill all the fish. So I'm not completely draining the pond. And you want there to be some kind of sediment on the bottom for these turtles to create a microhabitat for their skin. Uh, so that water is not dirty, man. That water, you know, obviously you're not going to drink it. But it's clean. It gets filtered through every single uh, day. Uh, there's a lot of fish in there, a lot of guppies. There's algae growing on the sides. Um, if we make it too sterile, uh, that fly river turtle is going to get into some skin problems. So what I would suggest now, if you have filtration, um, for example, I would love to have a filter on this. It would filter out any particles, okay? But I'm essentially doing the same thing when I run the water through it um, because the water gets cleaned out. Any bio waste is getting, it goes through the standpipe over there. Uh, and again, I drain it out once a week. So, the, you know, that's, that's okay when I was young or when I wasn't as schooled in keeping all these animals and realizing that too clean an environment can be a bad thing as well. If you make an animal too sterile, what happens to us? We don't have the, the um, immune system to really fight disease or we don't have the micro habitats for these turtles to keep their skin perfectly well. Because again, in, if I were keeping a fly river turtle in a cleaned area in like a big tank that's being filtered out, I'd also have a UV sterilizer uh, but I'd be adding, and I've done this in the past to some of my large ponds when I lived in Las Vegas that were filtered, you add bio uh, bacteria to the water to create beneficial bacteria that help break down waste. So as you can see, look at how nice and healthy that shell is. He's got a slime coat, a little hint of algae on the back, never hurt. Um, that's a perfect specimen of a fly river turtle. Uh, it's very happy, it's calm, it's investigating its habitat. Uh, can nibble on the plants when these philodendron grow into the water. He nibbles them, so he's got a little buffet line. But he's a happy fella, so don't sweat it. And also, guys, when keeping multiple species of turtles in a pond, you don't necessarily want it clear. And if it is clear, you have to make sure that you have tons of visual barriers because the turtles can get stressed out just by looking at each other all the time. Uh, Mike Titula and a couple of his fans are asking, can you do a podcast with Mike? Who's who's Mike Titula? He's always he's on he's a he's a, a a fan who also has a channel who yeah comments on a lot of our stuff and is very knowledgeable about stuff. Well, Mike, you know, we'll have to we'll check you out. We'll man. check it out, buddy. I mean, you know, uh, I would love to say yes right off the bat, but you know, we're getting it's actually getting to the point, and I know people get frustrated. Um, it's harder for me to answer as many comments as I once did. Um, I've got you know the Instagram going, the, the Camp Kennan going, and and then YouTube, and I don't I'm not. I'm not whining about it. I'm just saying it's a little bit more difficult for me to sit there for hours and just answer all the questions, you know, because I have to, I'm still the only one running this whole thing. And, and, and Tom comes to visit every five weeks we film new episodes and we try and bang out so many. So um, time is getting a little bit um, more difficult. Uh, it's a good thing. We're growing. Um, but I wouldn't say no. Uh, I, if I can find five minutes, you know, ten minutes, we do a little question and answer with you. I'm happy to help folks out because you guys have helped me out. So, you know, email Tom and we'll figure it into the schedule for sure. What else do you got? Slinky's all over the place. Oh, there he goes. He's over there. Uh, let's take a couple more questions and we're going to wrap it up today. What, ta what temperature should a baby Herman heat mat be? Well, the heat mat, if you don't have it on a thermostat or what they call a rheostat, where you can turn a dial and allow more power into the mat to warm it up, I would say use the mat as an, a nighttime warming uh, situation. So you never want that mat 
to get below, I'd say, 72 degrees. Keep it between 72 and 76 degrees if you can do that, and that'll keep the animal comfortable at night. Now, the animal's ambient temperature should be in the 80s, and its basking temperature should be about 95 to 105 degrees, directly underneath the basking light. And the animal should be able to cool down into the mid to high 80s when it wants to get out of the heat. Cool. Uh, maybe our last question. What's last the, question. What, what's the next swimming with going to be? Ooh, good question. We're, we're trying, I was going to try and do something with good old Fred Grunwald uh, with the reticulated python he has. He's got a 19-foot reticulated that python. That would be nuts. That would be a nuts one. Um, that's a scary It is a very python. scary snake, actually. But you know what? We're, the last video we did with that snake was in 2010. Uh, and, you know, we've come a long way. So uh, I think we should, you know, revisit re, uh, that animal and give it space. Give it space to act naturally. Give it space to slither around and do its thing. And we can get some really cool photos of a retic underwater. Uh, beyond that, you know, we're open to, to sub suggestions. The problem is, is so many of you are like, swim with a tortoise. I'm not doing that. Tortoises live on land. <laughs> um, you know, we'll think of something. Uh, but, you know, who knows? Maybe the Swimming With series will go out into the wild soon. And we'll get we'll swim with some wild animals, which I think would even be pretty much sicker. So there you have it, everybody. There's Slinky coming to say goodbye to you guys. Uh, always appreciate you hanging out with me here on these live shows. Thanks also for dealing with all of the technical issues. Um, hey, look, this channel is for you. Uh, you know, it doesn't cost anything. Be patient with us as we grow. We're trying to learn uh, new ways to bring you the content and deliver it to you. Um, I have a great time doing it. I'm not stopping anytime soon. I know Tom's psyched on it as well. And as long as you folks enjoy it, we're going to keep doing it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, for all of our international viewers, you guys can now get yourself a Camp Kennan shirt. Uh, go to CampKennan.com uh, and check out the store. And I'm going to go bring this beautiful critter. Oh, look at you. You just want to go out, don't you? Anyway, guys, I'm going to put him back up here. We're going to shut the cage. And we are going to say goodbye. Hope everybody has a great Thursday afternoon. There's Slinky. I'm Kenan, and I'm out of here.